Hey everyone, I'm inside FIFA 22 and here I want to explain about lone players in FIFA Ultimate Team because they confuse a lot of players and I understand why. By players I mean the computer player and not the actual player player that we're looking at. Um, so I've got a, a squad here and I've got a couple of lone players here and I'm just going to stick one in the squad view just so you can see what they look like in the squad view and how they differ from a standard player. So a lone player versus a standard player. The difference as you can see here is there's a little number bottom right and this shows how many games you can use this lone player for. Now the point is they are a lone player okay so that's how many play games you can play with them. And if you stick them in your subs, they're still classed as a lone player. So if you don't want to use up the loan period, there's a way around it. You can stick them into your into your club area. So if I took uh, Davies here and right buttons over, so I've selected him there with A, and then to the club here, I could swap him with another player here. Let's change him to Bertrand here. Um, and then what will happen is that he will stay in here for ages uh, with his loan value still sitting there because I'm not kind of using him for the loan. So that's kind of a way that you can reserve the games for future games. So if you've got, sometimes I've had a couple of left back loans um, and I'm like, well, I don't need the two of them at the same time. So you can kind of pause them here. You've also see that I've got previous loan players here and they come up with, with something that's rather confusing, which is it shows expired contract icon up the top right. And you think, oh, cool, I'll renew the, the contract. And you go, but that there is no option to renew it. Um, and the only thing you can do is co convert to concept player, which kind of just keeps the information and you know sticks them in another area, um, or you can just leave him like this. So um, if we go back to the squad, uh, not the squad, <laughs> uh, where is he, Davies? I'll chuck him back in the squad here. So if he's in the squad or he's in the subs, um, if I went ahead and played a game of squad battles, um, or it, it's basically any competitive game, I think friendlies, I don't think the loan goes down, I think it's just competitive games, so squad battles or um, division rivals, that sort of thing. The next game, uh, so after the game that we played, that would go down to three, and then eventually it'll go down to zero, like we have with Mbappe here. You will then get the contract expired icon, and you cannot renew it. So I cannot say this enough, because the amount of times I get on my how to renew contracts on FIFA 22 movie, um, well, rather the, the 21, oh, we've got him and I can't renew him. That's why it's a lone player, okay? Um, so once that's done, um, so a couple of things, you can either chuck him in the club just for reference. So we'll do that. Um, I'll show you what happens when you send a concept. Uh, let's do it with, I don't know, this guy here. Action, convert to concept player. There he is. Okay, so it, it kind of just highlights him a little bit different. Uh, there he is there. Um, that he's you know he was a concept player so kind of more for for reference than anything so you can't do anything with him now so you can see we can't there's nothing we can do with him we could search for him on the transfer market though so maybe that's the the slight benefit of doing that um and just kick him out of the squad so we've got it clear so just remember if you don't want to use the lone player just now chuck him in the club so just do that oops uh, i got uh, got to reset this filter um Ah, oh, sorry, my club is all broken. There we go. All right, so chuck him in the club, swap him with someone else. That'll do. Um, and then they won't be used, or chuck him in the squad, and that will do it. Hopefully, that makes sense with lone players. It's a pretty short movie, but hopefully, it helps you um, figure out. Um, the other thing to point out with lone players, because they are a lone player, is you cannot trade them. Just to prove that, I'll just go back to club um, and actions. Sorry, not actions. If you hit the player bio which is pushed down the right stick trade status is untradeable um, but yeah unsurprisingly when you get Mbappe at the start of the game you haven't really got any value of him apart from his loan period he's just there for a short period to help you out and play the game um, so yeah hopefully that explains things if it does thumbs up please any comments welcome let me know who's your favorite loan player that you've had so far and were you confused on it as well let me know in the comments hopefully you're not now and um, yeah, have a little look at the rest of the channel for other useful FIFA 22 tutorials. Thanks.